Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to work on a sensor, digital sensor that is LIS 3 DHTR. To have a knowledge about this sensor, to have a look about this sensor, so what we have to do is to visit the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search out for this sensor as you can see on my screen. Now let's have a look over this sensor. As you can see, it's a 3 axis accelerometer. So it will have a digital output motion sensor as you can see free fall detection 3 axis accelerometer 60 40 orientation detection these are some of its features which you would like to see uh, you can purchase this sensor further i will be interfacing the sensor lis 3 dhtr with a particle photon and a particle code is required so to look after the code let's have a look over the resource tab and here comes the particle code sample now you can download the code from this website as a zip file from here like this and you can also have the choice of downloading the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community now what we need is to collect some hardware so that we can process the working of this sensor first of all for the hardware connections we require a sensor that is LIS 3D HDR and here comes a particle photo now to make a connection among the photon and the sensor we require this I2C sheet. Now this is available on the website controleverything.com and it's very useful in making connections with other I2C devices and rather makes them easy. So gently place the particle photon over the I2C sheet and make this connection. Now we want to make a connection among the sensor and the I2C sheet and here comes a connecting cable. Now make this connection and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly this has to be followed for I2C sheet. Now we want to make the particle photon light up. So for that we need a power cable and a micro USB cable comes into the picture and it will help us to power it up. So gently insert it over here and then it's done. Next, we want to have a look over the code, the particle code. So for that, we have to dig it up to github.com and here we have to look up for control everything community which is the repository. So log in here and here LIS 3 dhtr is the sensor we are looking forward to explore and here it comes and this is the particle code. Now let's have a look over the instructions need to follow to run this code. We need to log in to a particle photon and set up the device according to the steps that are being provided on this very link as you can see. Let's have a look over for better look. As you can see all the relevant information is being provided here. The commands are there connecting your device. Everything is there using windows or other operating system are being provided here. Also after that we have to download the code and we have to go to the online ID and copy the code there. Now this is the online ID from where we can copy the code and we can run it and this is the code we have to save it now. Now finally what do we have is to verify and flash the code on the particle photon and after that flashing we have to check the output results on the dashboard which is like a serial monitor in the particle language. So we can have our output here as you can see. Now let's have a look over the code and let me explain step by step there. Now it's ion extension file as you can notice and for the code we have included application.h and spark wiring itc.h header files and we have defined the address of the sense that is 0x18. Now these are some of its variables we have defined and we have set some variables here in the void setup function. Now we have initialized i2c communication as master and initialized serial communication and baud rate equal to 9600. Now comes the writing section part. Here we have selected control register 1 and have the command uh, 0x20 for the register of control register 1 and the command we send here is to enable x, y, z axis. Power mode is on data selection rate is 10 hertz and the command for that is 0x27. Here it is. Next part for the writing section we have the selection of control register 4 which is 0x23 and the command we have set here is continuous update and full scale range that comprises plus minus 2g and it goes for 0x00 as you can see. 
so we are done with the command sending command part now we want to have the data that the sensor sends back and it's called reading part so we have reading in the form of for loop which have the data from the 40 which is the equivalent of decimal now we are reading and requesting data for six bytes as you can see for x y and z axis of acceleration data and here comes the conversion of the data part for the three axis which is according to the data sheet of LIS3 DHDR. So as we are done with the reading, writing and conversion part, what we require is to put out the values on the display. It means output data to be displayed on the dashboard, which is in the form of acceleration in X, Y and Z axis, as you can notice. Now this is the code we need to follow and this is the code we need to work out with. So let's have a look over it. Now we have to check for the working of this sensor along with this particle code which is very interesting in itself. So for that copy this entire code of the particle, copy it. Now open up the build terminal for the working. Here we have to create a new file and paste the entire code there as you can see and I will demonstrate it. It's LIS3DHTR for the file name and here we have to paste the entire code and then save it. Now we have to verify and compile the code and now we have to flash the code. While flashing we have to check for the magenta flash which will confirm that the code is good to go and we can have our output to be displayed on the dashboard. Yeah, Just now we have the magenta flash and as you can see uh, the notification of flash successful as you can see on the downwards. Now what do we require is to open up the dashboard so that we can have the output uh, on the screen. So let's have it. Uh, as you can see we have the acceleration in the all three axes x, y and z which are the perpendicular axis. The value on all three axes are almost stable. Now when I try to move the sensor there will be a change in the acceleration regarding three axis x, y and z. And as I am moving the sensor in the all directions all 3D uh, directions x, y, z axis acceleration changes. Yeah, it's noticing down, uh, it's on the screen as you notice. Now this is how the sensor works along with this code. Now what do we require is to see the benefits, the applications regarding the sensor accelerometer LIS3 HDR. Now DHDR. Yeah, that's great. Now let's have it. Now the LIS3 DHDR is an ultra low power high performance 3 axis linear accelerometer belonging to the nano family with digital I2C SPI serial interface standard output. Now the device features ultra low power operational modes that allow advanced power saving and smart embedded functions. This sensor has dynamically user selectable full scales of plus minus 2G up to 16G and it's capable of measuring accelerations with output data rates from 1Hz to 5kHz. Now various applications uses this sensor which are motion activated functions, free fall detection, click, double click recognition, pedometer, display orientation, gaming and virtual reality, input devices, vibrational monitoring and compensation and a lot more. Now you can purchase the sensor from the website controleverything.com as you can see and you can also have the code from the resource tab you can download it from this site. You can also have the code from GitHub repository and the repository is control everything community. Now you can have the queries on control everything.com you can contact there and you can have your comments posted on the community page. Also for relevant blogs and articles you can reach us on instructables.com and to have more video tutorials you can subscribe our YouTube channel. In the end. I just want to make it clear that you understood everything and in case of any issue regarding any part of this video you can contact me on controleverything.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and yourself have a good one. Thanks a lot for watching.